Thanks for joining us and welcome to this introductory webinar looking at Raycastle's new certificate and diploma in telecoms program. Our certified training programs combine some of our most popular online training courses to build guided learning pathways that help you demonstrate and prove your expertise and competence in your chosen field. Now briefly the agenda for today is we'll, we'll take a quick look at an um, introduction to Raycastle. I'll hand over to Tony, who will give us an introduction to certificate and diploma programs, a look at how you'll learn and how we'll help you throughout your studies. We'll run through the course contents, looking at the foundation courses, the specialist learning paths, and what you can expect to learn if you upgrade to the diploma program, if you want to widen your knowledge base. We'll have a quick chat about how to register, then we'll open up the floor for a Q&A. First, um, I was on the call, um, my name is Paul Waite, I'm Marketing Director here at Ray Castle, and I'm grateful to have Tony Wakeford here, who's our Senior Trainer and Competency Development Specialist, who's put this programme together. So he's our expert in the content side of the course. Right, first, um, a brief introduction to Ray Castle. Now, we help the global telecoms world by developing the specialist knowledge, skills and competencies organisations need to build, maintain and optimise and operate the cutting edge communications networks of today and tomorrow. As you'll see here, we were founded in 1958 in Ray Castle, and you'll see a picture of the lovely castle there. And um, we're now HQ'd in the Lake District in England, and we, but we do train worldwide. We're the preferred partner of many telecoms and high-tech industry giants, and um, I'll show you a few of those in a little bit. Um, our extensive training portfolio covers all the major telecoms technologies, including 5G, LTE, IP, virtualization, et cetera. Um, we deliver to a wide range of audiences from the experienced engineers to those in more commercial grades looking for an overview level course. Um, we deliver our training via classroom, virtual classroom, on-demand training, um, and also individual presentations and courses to full, fully integrated online academies which cover all our training materials. Now here you'll see just a few of the clients that we worked with. You'll see a number of major operators there from Vodafone, O2, down to um, Orange and um, T-Mobile, so plenty of big operators there and a few other sort of suppliers and sort of ancillary companies as well. So right, um, that's it from me. So I'll hand over to Tony, who will take you through the diploma and certificate programs and the contents. Right, over to you, Great. Tony. Thanks, Paul. Thanks. And just to reiterate, actually, some of the um, some of the operators that we work with aren't just always European. You know, we've done a lot with MTN, for example, uh, and certainly worked ex extensively. Um, well globally really so uh, yeah so, so that's that's who we are okay so certificate and diploma programs what I'll do is I'll just give me a second I'll just enable our uh, our chat pod so if you've got any questions throughout you'll just pop them in the chat pod if you want to um, if you want to unmute you can do that as well that would be great um, I'll just grab my participants pod so I know who's who's asking what in case you do uh, you do unmute, but feel free to ask questions pretty much throughout if you want. But there will be a dedicated Q and A at the end of the the end of the session. So perhaps if I just sort of expand on my experience um, in telecoms, I started in telecoms um, initially in 1981, so that's that's sort of 40 years ago. I know I don't look old enough, but there you go. Um, but I've been in telecoms training for over 25 years, so since 1996. So I've been working with really big companies like Vodafone and MTN and um, Tislat and uh, Digicel, if you happen to be based in the Caribbean or in the Pacific, uh, for example. So lots of time spent in Europe, um, obviously the UK, but also in Africa and the Middle East and, uh, and Asia. Not so much in the, in the States, but, but some. OK, so what we've done is we put together a certificate diploma program. And the rationale behind this is that if you look at university courses that are dealing with telecoms, they tend to be uh, extremely foundational. They tend to sometimes be out of date, and that's no fault of the universities. It's just that they have a very rigid structure in terms of um, uh, in terms of the governance and the way in which they put training courses together. So it all needs to be approved, et cetera. Um, but also, you know, they, they don't really have trainers and competency development specialists who work in the industry sort of 24 7 so 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 the material tends to be a little bit out of date but we know from previous experience that there's a 
a huge requirement really within the industry to to learn um, up to date material, up to date topics in support of the telecoms operator, in support of vendors, in support of high tech industries who make use of telecommunications and um, and um, very closely related uh, topic areas. So we we're passionate about this. This is you know, absolutely top notch. Um, bang up to date material that 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 supports the industry. So, in terms of this particular program, what we've done is we've brought together three foundation programs, which give us a really good foundation in telecommunications. We'll look at the details on that in a second. Uh, added to that, we then add. If I just start my uh, my laser pointer. Added to that, we then add two specialist courses, which give us a certain level of customization and optionally um, if we want to move sort of beyond the certificate program to the diploma program we can add two additional elective uh, courses to, to the set so overall it's it's five separate specific courses initially three that are mandatory and two that are specialist and electives that gives us a certificate the expected study time for that will be 10 months or if you like 120 hours so if you break that down that's 12 hours per month so we're looking at really three hours per week so so that does work work quite well that's based on experience in terms of of what uh, a busy um you know uh telecoms professional or 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 busy um, sort of high-tech professional can uh, can fit in in a week in terms of the elective courses, again, um, same same sort of time frame. This time for the additional two courses, four months, so 48, 48 hours. Now, what we've also done is we've put together a some pathways. So, if you want to specialise in certain areas, and at the moment there are four areas that you could sort of specialise in, we've put together some specialist learning pathways, and at the moment they are cellular radio engineer, core network engineer. Or if you want to sort of look at LTE um, as a specialist and take in uh, the end-to-end -end view of LTE, and that's an option too, and also the 5G engineer. Now, when we say specialist learning pathways, what we're talking about is which specialist courses do you actually choose? So if you choose two specialist courses to support cellular radio engineer, then you will gain an endorsement. If you choose the two specialist courses which are aligned with core network engineer, then you'll um, you you will uh, gain an endorsement for core, no core network engineer uh, and so on. So LT engineer and five G engineer, etc. So um, just a few questions starting to come in. So let me just take a couple of those. Um, Okay, so so love more. Um, yeah, perhaps um, perhaps Paul can can take that question towards the end. So uh, I'll, I'll leave that one to to Paul. Really, just asking about payment options. Uh, Clinton brushes focus on mobile broadband. Uh, do you also focus on fixed broadband, fiber? Uh, not not too much at the moment, Clinton. Although the certainly the um, the foundation courses do include those. Yeah, so you see the. Uh, the list of courses that we've included a little bit later on um, and what we'll do la later is we'll look at the entire list of courses that we can add in terms of the specialist courses and the elective uh, courses as well and uh, and give you some more detail on that later um wahid difference uh between between that i'm not sure what, what you want to know there, Wahid, perhaps if you can just expand on that in the uh, chat pod, that would be great. Okay, let's move on. And first of all, look at how you will learn. So there's lots of resources. First of all, each course um, features a thorough analysis of the topic and includes videos, illustrated course books, tutor support. Some of our dedicated um, uh, training professionals will fully support you on your uh, learning journey. And regular live tutorials, 
So although these can be fairly ad hoc in nature, so when you need support, we will be there to give you support. We'll also run monthly drop-ins, so we'll promulgate the uh, the time ahead of uh, ahead of those, and you'll know exactly when that's when that's available. Uh, you study with like-minded people, so you can learn from your peers. And um, in the drop-ins, we'll start forming uh, a network, and you can start. Um, uh, conversing with others on the course, etc. But also you'll be able to uh, take part in uh, hot topic discussions as well as they become available on the platform. We provide assessments, so formative assessments, so that's part of the actual learning journey. So that's to check that you are, uh, you're learning the right, um, right information to the right standard and to help you uh, assess what you know and what you need to perhaps do a little bit more uh, studying uh, around, but also we then got our um, end of module and end of course uh, tests, quizzes, and they come with our digital badges. So just a little bit more information on that. If I bring in uh, perhaps some, uh, just give me a second. I've got so many things open on my other computer here. So if I just bring in a little bit of information about the platform. So the platform and the format that you'll receive is something like this. So in any one of the courses that you're studying at that particular time, probably the focus, certainly if you're a visual learner will be the, uh, the videos. So this uh, is a, an example from one of the training courses. So this is uh, 5G new radio. So you can see the 5G new radio. And in this case, you know, the videos just give you a flavor of the sort of things that, that will be presented. In this case, a fairly technical analysis of the sort of information that you're gonna find on the 5G new radio. So if you're already, if you've already started studying 5G or you're already sort of okay with uh, radio interfaces, you might understand that, that, that vertically here, we're showing different frequencies, left to right, we're showing different symbols or different time instances. And this is showing, um, specifically in a pretty technical way, exactly which information we might need to uh, map onto what we call the resource grid. And, and the, uh, the you videos... Go down the physical uplink control channel. So there is a, an uplink control channel. As with any of these things, you need to provide a pointer. All of these... So we have you know, good explanations with um, additional points that the trainer there has included on the video, including in this particular case, annotations as well to, to, try and, uh, to try and bring the training alive. But that's just, that's just a video resource. You know, if we look at, um, at the different parts of the, uh, the modules, um, we've got quizzes. So we can preview a, a quiz here. So this is a sort of quiz that you might might expect in that particular course. Remember, this is a fairly technical course on which channel is the downlink control information DCI transmitted, and you've got various options here which you can click. And, and that's formative assessment. So this isn't really part of your overall assessment. This is just for you to check if you understand uh, the subject area. But in terms of the modules, you know, you can you can go through the uh, platform you can see on the right hand side which modules you've, you've completed so which videos you've done which quizzes you've attempted and it's in a really nice logical sequential order which takes you from in general within the modules takes you from an overview all the way through to uh, to fairly comprehensive uh, uh, knowledge and, um, and skills and then there you go there's a digital badge quiz at the end you might be wondering well what is a digital badge quiz well that's your that's your uh, summative assessment. So that is your that is your module quiz in this case. And if you pass, if you achieve the pass mark in that case, ninety percent, then you're going to be building a, a whole range of these badges, which come with the modules. You can see the module badges there in blue, and the courses there in gold. So you might say, well, okay, what's the difference between this and a good old fashioned certificate? Um, of course, at the end of the entire program, we still issue certificates, but these are great because for example, if we look at something like, like this particular badge here, you can share this on your social media. So anybody clicking on that particular badge on your social media can see exactly what you've, what you've learned. 
So they'll get a brief overview of why you've got that badge, what skills you've demonstrated, um, plus a whole range of other criteria as well, which is associated with the uh, with this particular badge platform. So that's um, that. That's just one of the uh, training courses. If perhaps if I click onto the uh, the second one here. So this is one of our. This is based on one of our. Um, programs. So this is uh, from our telecoms as an industry and a business. So in this particular case, not quite as technical. This is talking about um, operators. So we're talking about uh, three, a number of mergers and acquisitions, both where they buy operations and then has subsequently sold them. So for example, Telia at one point owned. So, so ju just give an example of the sort of less technical material that, that's in the uh, in the courseware, but again, same sort of um, uh, same sort of structure. So you can see the modules there. If I were to look at this particular course, then you can see how the modules fit together and the progress on the right hand side. And of course, again, we've got the summative quizzes and we've got the badge quizzes. There you go, badge quiz at the end of the first module, badge quiz at the end of the second module badge quiz at the end of the third module and then we've got the full summary assessment which is the, uh, the the course test at the end there now throughout any of this if you've got any questions you can always just hit the help button there and the help button will enable you to to ask your instructor a question direct and we get those into our inbox into our email instantly so if you're on the platform you've got the instant help there that you need we don't always get back to you you know, that particular minute but certainly uh, certainly within a, a very quick time frame. So you can track all sorts of the information here on your uh, on your dashboard. Okay, so back to back to the PowerPoint. Um, right, so just just getting some questions coming through again. So if I just flip back to the questions in the chat pod. Um, so just from Mike, does cellular radio engineer specialist pathway relate to the air interface, physical setup, network infrastructure in the real world? And the answer is yes, Mike, and I'll, I'll explain that in a second, actually. Okay, so if I just move on. So the foundation courses, first of all, there are three foundation courses. Telecoms Foundation, so this is really looking at the technology, but it's a it's a gentle introduction to the technology. I say gentle, but you know it's fairly fast paced. It, it moves on quite um, uh, a, a quite a pace to, to a point where you're sort of starting to get a feel for the actual technology, the uh, the the techniques that are involved, the um, you know, the way in which the, the industry is underpinned by by the technology that. That we use throughout you know lots of different sort of deployment scenarios so this first telecoms foundation this is the first course it defines telecoms looks at the nature of information so real really nice um introduction to to the whole of telecoms there we then give us a we then give a historical background to the telecoms network which is always important because if you're going to understand where we are now you've got to understand the sort of sequential nature of it because very often we've built new technologies on top of old technologies new techniques have replaced old techniques and a lot of telecoms operators are actually operating a whole range of things some of which are quite old other other um, techniques are bang up to date so that's a good historical background um, absolutely invaluable but then we we bring ourselves bang up to date digital fixed telecom networks. So there you go. Um, I think of more you're asking, you know, do we tackle sort of broadband? And the answer is yes, we do. So we do look at fixed broadband for sure. We also need to be able to understand that, we need to understand data networks. So we do some uh, foundational work on data networks. We then do some foundational work on mobile networks and Wi-Fi. And we expand what we started looking at here. So the public switch telephone network and some of the data capabilities here, we then look specifically at how we uh, deliver broadband over that particular 
type of connection. Um, okay, so Steve just asking 10 months, how much study per day? So if, if I can just go back to, to this um, diagram here. So 10 months is we think 120 hours. This is gonna vary depending on where you are now in terms of your current experience how fast um, you're taking videos. You know, some people run videos at, at normal speed, other people like running videos at, at one and a half speed, for example. Um, but, but that works out at 12 hours per month, which we think is about right. And this is based on lots of experience that certainly I've had running certificate diploma programs previously. So three hours, just three hours per week. Really. So, you know, if you've got a, a bit of a commute on the bus, it's ideal. You can probably get through most of that um, during that downtime. Or if you want to put a couple of hours aside on Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon, um, plus catch up an hour, an hour during the week, that would work as well. So 120 hours, or if you do the extra two, um, two courses to give you the diploma, then that's 168 hours. Incidentally, although it's not a university course, this is the, the, um, the timings are aligned with some of the sort of units that you find within university courses as well. So, so that is um, that was a choice that we made to do that. OK. So the next foundation course is 2G to 5G mobile telecommunications. So this is really looking at the technologies that most telecoms operators around the world are dealing with, it is different to fixed. There's a lot more to mobile compared to fixed, uh, mainly because, you know, we are dealing with a radio environment. So even if you're a fixed operator, um, very often fixed operators become converged operators, which means that they do start operating and offering mobile uh, connections. Or they merge and they acquire so you can look at the uh, example between BT and EE, or as a fixed operator, you've got to understand what the mobile operators are doing and what the capabilities are. So for all those reasons, you'll make no apologies. It's, it's mobile, you know, that's as delivering courses in the industry for the last 25 years, we deliver some broadband, some fixed, but actually, you know, in terms of demand, in terms of where engineers are needed, a lot of what we do is cellular. Um, so, so, so we are absolutely driven by the industry. So, so a lot of, a lot of the uh, knowledge that's needed is cellular. So, so this is a great introduction to cellular. Now, this is our standard course. Say it's our standard course. You know, it, we would deliver this face to face, either in a classroom or online, or just like most of our other courses are available on demand. So this is one of our top selling courses and big companies like um, BTE to take this course. You know, it's, uh, it's one of the main mainstream courses that we've got as a foundational course. So we look at the principles of mobile cellular networks. I particularly like delivering this course. Why? Well, because it's proper cognitive learning. So for me, we can look at the principles, we can then look at the different techniques, but from four different angles. We can look at how um, the radio is organized when we look at GSM based networks and how it's organized when we look at UMTS networks and how we organize it when we look at LT and then 5G and and it builds um, effectively you get to sort of re repeat or you get to to assess and analyze the same questions four times adding additional information each time and it, it's a really neat um sequentially ordered you know, really nice sort of cognitive learning uh or, or really really nice course for cognitive learning and, and cognitive is where you add more knowledge on previous knowledge uh, and then we've got telecoms as an industry and business so halfway through the certificate program effectively so this is a third course uh, we take um, a less technical approach to things and we look at look at telecoms and we look at the industry and the business dynamics. We look at the technology, um, but from a more from a business point of view. So you know, just one slide or two slides on cellular, two slides on on broadband, a uh, couple of slides on data centers. You know, to understand what senior managers perhaps need to understand about 
telecoms um, without getting into too much of the detail. And then the we look at the telecoms industry and have a look at facts and figures and where, where telecoms really is going. Again, all of this, you know, when we look at some of these um, more um, sort of generic courses and modules, then this will be not just cellular, this is definitely um, uh, fixed as well, for sure. So that's brand new, that as a course, that's hot off the press, that was finished just, just before Christmas, actually, so, so finished in, uh, in December. So three really nice foundation courses there. Um, yeah, so love more the um, it you, you've asked whether the units are aligned with university. They're not. We haven't got these units or these courses at all accredited by universities. I've done that before. Um, it's got some value for sure. But what I would say is that it does slow us down and stops us changing the courses at the sort of rate that we would like in terms of bringing things bang up to date. Um, so. You know, it university accreditation is great, but actually, don't forget, you know, Ray Castle is probably the gold standard in terms of telecoms training. So, if you've got that on your CV, Ray Castle training, um, as somebody who's completed one of the certificate or diploma programs, you know, that that should be very well recognized in the industry. At the end of the day, you know, we are we are used by the industry giants, Vodafone and EE and. BT and MTN, etc. Okay, so they're the foundation courses, they're the three. So for example, if you then decided that perhaps, so if you look at the bottom right there, for anybody who already in or looking to move into technical positions focused on the cellular radio interface, you could then go ahead and perhaps uh, undertake the LTA interface, which is detailed and the 5G air interface, which is detailed. And in this case, um, these are the modules within the actual course itself. So you see there, you know, pretty, pretty, um, pretty techy in nature. The physical layer structure of LTE is uh, it's not for the faint hearted. Layer two protocols, radio resource control, etc. So the actual um, you know, procedures, uh, lower layer procedures there, for example. And 5G, so bang up to date. You know, we've certainly trained most of the UK operators on 5G over the last four years. I've been tr training on 5G now since uh, 2017. So you might say, well, that's a little bit early. Um, that was before standardization. You're absolutely right. We've been training that long on it. So in this case, 5G air interface, again, looking at things like physical layer implementation, um, signaling procedures, but also banged up to date, release 16 and release 17, which is due actually for being frozen next month. So as that gets frozen, this will be updated. So if you want to do a certificate with an endorsement, in this case, cellular radio engineer, you could add these two courses to, to these three. So that would be your five courses in that case. If you wanted to do your certificate with a endorsement for core network engineer, you could do the LTE Evolved Packet Core and you could do the 5G Architecture and Protocols course. So adding these two to the three foundation courses. So that, that would be probably for those already in or looking to move into technical positions focused on the cellular core network. So again, uh, detailed in nature, pretty comprehensive. Uh, you can see there we've even annexed the IP multimedia subsystem for additional information for those who might be familiar with IMS. You might know what that is, but, but you probably know that that is an extremely complex system in its own right. But we include you know, a good foundation on that in that particular course. But, but really, to me, that just illustrates that actually we, you know, we've no need to bulk these out. There's lots of details in these courses. If anybody wants... Uh, the details, and it's, it's usually you know, graphic by graphic details, so slide by slide details on any of these. If you're trying to make your, uh, your decisions, let, let us know. We can definitely get that to you so you, so, you, so you get a really good sense for how detailed these courses are. 5G architecture and protocols, again, um, you know, pretty detailed. If you wanted to 
within the certificate doing a do a uh, and achieve an endorsement for LTE engineer, you could just stick with LTE. So LTE Evolve Packet Core and LTE Air Interface will give you a good end-to-end -end view of LTE. So we've included the uh, graphic here, LTE Advanced Pro, because actually these are bang up to date. Absolutely bang up to date. So beyond release nine, beyond the first uh, first iteration of LTE, you know, we, we've included lots of details on, on where LTE goes next to so LTE Advanced. LT Advanced Pro, so that should be bang up to date. So what we've also said here is that, you know, this is for those who want to develop a deeper technical understanding of LTE end to end in order to support the career as a cellular engineer. But one thing to bear in mind that if you wanted to go for the diploma, you can actually do these two and also add 5G engineer endorsement as well by taking the two on the next slide as part of the diploma. So what I'm saying is you, if we do the three foundation courses, we add these two, that's just certificate with a LTN engineer endorsement. If you wanted to do the diploma and add the next two, these two, you also get a 5G engineer endorsement as well. So this would be again, end to end 5G. So 5G air interface, 5G architecture and protocols. I'm hoping that that has sort of made sense. Well, just before we move on, are there any questions on those? So what I've showed you is, is three foundational courses. And then we said we have two to get the certificate. If we had the right two, we get the right endorsement. And if you wanted to add another two, then you, you uh, get the diploma. And in theory, you could get to quite easily get two endorsements because you've done two, two specific learning paths. OK, so what I'm thinking is some of you might be thinking, well, you know, that's great. I like the look of the three, three foundational courses, but I want a bit more flexibility. And if that's the case, that's fine. You don't have to do these endorsements and you've got quite a few courses to choose from. So the courses you can currently choose from are any of those 5G courses there. So remember, these are the electives. So everybody's got to do those foundation courses. But if you want to do two of these, you can do two of those. If you want to do two of the LTE or cellular type courses, you can do two of those. And if you're a railway engineer or somebody who's looking to get into rail communications, you could do, for example, two of those. Or you can mix and match. You know, if you wanted to do your three foundational courses and you wanted to do 5G cell planning and perhaps um, eSIM engineering, if that's what you wanted to do, you could do that. It's no problem. That's it doesn't come with an endorsement in that case, but it's still the you still get the uh, certificate or the diploma in telecoms. Okay, I really need to to just just pause there and just see if there are any questions. So if you, you guys want to uh, unmute, you can do that. If anybody's got any questions, please feel free. Hi, hi Tony, it's, uh, it's, it's Jim Amos, can, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, okay, yeah. Hi Tony, um, what's the um, process if you've already done some of these courses? Um, I've, I've already done the a couple of the air interface courses. Okay. I have, I have emailed Paul. I'm just trying to get my head around it, and I've been really busy uh, to, yeah, to get back to him. But it was um, just about the difference in cost and can we put those two courses we've done? Because one of them was about eighteen months ago, and one was a year ago. It's okay. can, you know, do I have to do those again, or can can we use those? Um, I, I need to talk to Paul, but I don't think you need to do them again. I think we should be able to use them. Yeah. Yeah. So if um, I don't know if you've still got your email, if you wanted to um, copy me in, just forward it to me. And then I can probably uh, I can probably uh, take it forward next week and we can get you sorted out before the uh, before the start. Yeah, that, that'd be great. And it it's, might, might be a stupid, obvious question, I think, about, about prices. Uh, I don't know if that's a separate bit coming afterwards or not, but um, I look look online because obviously you've got the course of either the certificate or the, the diploma part of it. 
you've then also got to pay for the individual courses as well, I'm assuming. Um, so I'm just trying to get some information together about no, how much this all costs. No, so so to be honest with you, it's the um you pay for the diploma or the uh or the uh, certificate course, it's a really good deal. So if some of you have looked at the, the price of the full courses, um, you're getting a really good deal, <laughs> to be honest. We What we want really is we want people to move through these courses and um, you know, if, eventually, hope, hopefully, sort of evangelize about their experience and try and get on them. So it's, yeah, so, so whatever that, uh, Paul will give you the uh, prices again, I think, towards the yeah. end. But whatever that is, you don't have to pay it. For the actual courses themselves as well it's included okay brilliant thank you fab okay anybody else got any questions at this point okay good yeah so, so we're trying you know you probably get the idea that we're trying to make this as flexible and as tailored as we can um, whilst keeping the quality right up and of course throughout you know you can always get in, in i have one question to you yeah sure Okay, uh, what I just wanted to ask is, uh, let's say I only have uh, experience in uh, background experience in mobile uh, communication. Is it uh, possible that upon completion of this course, I can go straight into the industry, the industry uh, as a uh, mobile or telecoms engineer? Yeah, so it, it depends on your home market depends on the state of the industry and the home market depends on um, whether they're hiring ultimately. But at the end of the day, you know, you're getting really good training here. So it is, it's, it's recognized as some of the best training in the industry because, you know, we, we our courses and these specific courses are taken by the industry. So they are taken by Vodafone, they are taken by E, they're taken by, you know, France Telecom, etc. So it's difficult to say, you know, whether you're guaranteed a job or not, but there are millions of people in the telecoms industry and you're certainly putting yourself ahead of the majority of them, uh, depending on, you know, you, you and your previous experience, your, your schooling and all the rest of it, but it, it certainly won't, won't hurt. That's, that's for sure. Yeah. Okay. There is one question which I asked about uh, virtual labs or do you have sort of practical uh, uh, during the training? Is there any platform where we can uh, have a, a practical experience uh, during the training? Virtual experience, uh, what? It, with the operators themselves, you mean, or? Or do you mean sort of lab work or? Okay, I'm asking uh, that uh, in, uh, uh, during uh, the training, is there any form of practical or uh, like labs or visual labs where one can do uh, practice or uh, do practical training? So that is so what I'm Yeah, so, so what, what we tend to do is we tend to... Um, Stay away from, from labs. Um, and the reason is that every lab and every uh, environment will be different. So depending on where you end up working, you know, whatever we do will not represent um, the, the actual environment that you end up working in. But wh wherever we can, you know, we, we include um, information about um, practical aspects of, so for example, deployment, or if you're thinking about your know, labs of um, trying to analyze trace messages, well, we include that all in the courseware anyway. So in previous your know, courses, I've I've used uh, the old K1103 analyzer for, for example, GSM system techniques or SS7 type courses. And what we find is that people just get sucked into uh, trying to work out how the actual analyzer works. And, and actually in your previous courses, we've ended up uh, building the, the, building the, the principles and the analysis into the courseware itself rather than doing the actual labs. So, so the answer is um, no, not, not in the sense that you're talking about. We don't have separate labs to, to draw the attention away from the, from the courseware. But hopefully plenty of, um, plenty of practical experiences. What we'll also do is we'll also, you'll have a sort of hot topic discussion board as well. So in that hot topic discussion board, we'll be discussing things which are pertinent to the industry right now. So we would be adding you know, discussions on. So for example, last week, Vodafone, I think came up with the first 
slice um, or what they claim is one of the first practical slices in the UK, which is looking at supporting virtual reality and augmented reality headsets. And it needs a certain quality of service to be provided through the network. We'll have a really good discussion around that and look at perhaps how, how that might be achieved and what it means for Vodafone and what it means for the rest of the industry. So lots of, you know, lots of practical information for sure, lots of practical idea sharing, but but not not too much in terms of the actual labs themselves. However, you know we have got other courses, and when we do include some labs in some of those, for sure. Okay, okay. Uh, that is one that is one noted. Then uh, another question is um, okay, depending if I have. Uh, some telecom experience just to choose or go direct to the diploma without going through your the certificate course i didn't get that uh, uh that clearly when you're explaining so i just wanted to find out no. if it is possible um, that i can just go straight to uh, no um if you've done some of our courses previously um send us an email and we can assess that against the requirements of the uh, certificate and diploma but you can't move straight on to the uh, diploma without really doing the certificate Okay. Okay. Uh, thanks. Uh, Gear, just to answer your question, could you study at a fast pace and three hours a week, let's say six hours and complete in half time? Uh, yes, absolutely. So, what uh, the way in which we're going to run this is we're going to make the available, uh, sorry, the material available for two years full stop. So, you get access to the material. If you want to go ahead with it um, at a much faster pace and qualify and get your certificate and all your diploma in, uh, in, in super quick time, that's absolutely fine. You'll still, you, you'll still get access to the tutors and for any hot topics and discussion boards, you'll still have access to that over the two years. If you wanna drop in on the, um, on the drop-in sessions as well, then that's perfectly fine for the time that you're, uh, you've got access to the material. So yeah, good question, Gear. There's also one question which I asked. Uh, it was about uh, actually the payment. I was just asking if there is an option, like if I want to do uh, some courses, then I can spread the payment in a different instrument. If is there any other uh, option for that? Uh, I'll let Paul. Paul's going to jump back in before the end, so I'll let Paul Paul answer that if that's okay. 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 Thank you. Thanks. So Mark's just asked the question, is there any associated accreditation externally accepted, recognised? Um, the answer is no. So we we stand alone as Ray Castle. I mean, if you look at the history of Ray Castle over the years, we've been an awarding um, college previously. Um, so we're at, we are an ex-maritime um, uh, college to which, which used to provide HNCs and ONCs, etc. So extremely well known in the UK as an award in college anyway um, we don't have the full uh, academic award ability anymore however having said that you know we are completely aligned with the industry so we are it's understood by the industry um, in the uk europe and abroad that you know we are we are the industry's pr primary tr training partner so for example in 2012 you're looking at the vodafone uh, Technical Academy, we we set that up. We ran it for five years um, under the uh, contract. We passed it over to those guys to run internally. Um, they're just starting to pass a lot of it back to us um, to, and asking us to run it again. So you know that's the sort of status that we have. Mark. So there's no external university accreditation on this. I'll be honest, I have done that previously with other programs. Um, it's it, it swings and roundabouts as to whether it benefits us. It, it's great in some ways, but in terms of the actual program itself, it does it does make it very difficult for us to keep everything bang up to date. So, so we're, we're sort of a little bit lukewarm on it, Mark. Might have a look at it at some point going forward. So if we do, then we'll try and include all all previous students um, in that accreditation if we, uh, if we go ahead and do it. But having said that, th that's why we actually chose the uh, the learning hours to uh, to fit in with the university, just in case we do it going forward. 
Okay, so what sets our certified training programs apart? So this is probably the bit that I, we should probably have talked about up front, really, but it, it's developed by us at Ray Castle. So, you know, we've been going 58 years delivering training. So initially as a maritime um, or merchant Navy radio college, but then a lot of the uh, a lot of the graduates from the college back in the late 80s, early 90s went on to work for a lot of the operators within the UK. So we were asked very early on, as some of our graduates were taking really senior positions in some of the operators to go in and train. And that's what we, what we did. So we've been training the telecoms operators, uh, certainly in the UK, but, but also, you know, from the early 90s, you know, abroad. You know, I can remember very early on, actually, trips out to, uh, to um, places like Malaysia, for example, you know, just, just all, over, all over the world, really. So, so a really strong heritage. And we are still now training lots and lots of companies. So I include in that Vodafone, MTN, so that's your biggest African operator. Through Vodafone, we've got Vodacom as well, if you're looking for more African uh, uh, presence. BT, Orange, France Telecom, lots of UK government agencies. So we are used as the preferred training company for the UK government agencies across, across many of the agencies. Network, Rail, Ofcom, Sky, um, lots of others. But, but what it means is that, you know, we are always responding to requests. So whatever our portfolio, whatever is on our portfolio really represents what's needed by the industry. So it's fully aligned with industry requirements uh, and it's up to date. You know, we can't go into these operators, can't go into the other, you know, the network vendors with out of date materials. So we are, we're bang up to date. So, so I'd say they're probably, that's probably the, the, uh, the biggest benefit, but also on this particular program. And again, just based on previous, um, uh, previous projects we've been, been involved in, um, in this particular case, you've got a focused specialist learning pathways. So the aim is to try and make you into real experts. Probably, you know, when you leave the course, if you're not working within an operator, if you're not working within a vendor, if you're not working in the industry itself, then you, you've got a bit of experience lacking, but you've got great knowledge and you'll be able to contribute immediately when you, you find yourself in post, for sure. Um, extended learning. So if you wanted to extend your learning beyond, beyond the certificate, you can do that by adding uh, the further two modules. Remember, we're extremely flexible in terms of which programs you can add to the three, um, to the three foundation modules. Yeah, full tutor support. So some of the guys at Ray Castle, you know, they've been in the industry for uh, probably, probably about as long as I have really. So 30 to 40 years, it tends to be average. Study with your peers and we will uh, strive and endeavor. And sometimes it can be quite difficult. We'll try and get you guys together, sharing ideas, building your own network as well. So, you know, there is a, there's a um, phenomenon in learning, which is a community of, of, um, of interest. So community of interest, we'll, we'll strive to build those. Fully flexible learning. So 24 month access to all of the materials to learn from anywhere on any device, cross device. I think the only browser that isn't supported is the Internet Explorer, but hopefully everybody's who were IE users have moved on to Edge now anyway. You've got your regular testing. So that's both formative and summative and your digital badges. So that's great to demonstrate your depth of knowledge. Uh, regular milestones in terms of where you should be in your um, in your uh, learning. So we'll, we'll try and keep you on track. And then for those who are interested, for those who, who like it, we'll give them that anyway, pretty high quality certificates uh, on completion with your grade transcript. So that's, um, that's the program. Um, I'll just bring Paul back in, but, but first of all, before we do that, another perhaps another option for questions another uh, another period where you can just fire away if you anybody's got any more questions i 
Okay, Paul, I don't know if you want to jump back in there then. Yeah, yeah. Hi, everyone. Yeah, so um, just to go off some of the practicals here. So the next cohort is starting on the 31st of March. So obviously, we'd love to get a few of you on that cohort. I think the advantage of, of working together with a group of like minded um, colleagues, I think, is great. I and mean, as Tony mentioned, you know, the chance for you to bounce ideas off, off each other is really, really good. Um, just in terms of the prices, uh, the cost is 1995 for the certificate program and 2995 for the diploma program. I think someone was asking a question about split payments. Um, we don't offer split payments at the moment. However, you could um, register for the certificate program first and then choose to upgrade to the diploma program at a later time. So that, that would help you kind of spread the cost a little bit there. As you'll see on the screen here, we've actually got a little bit of a, a special offer because it's our first cohort we're running on this. If you register by the end of next week, the 26th of March, we'll give you 15% off. Um, and you can see the VIP code in terms to, to enable you to claim that. So if you want to join the program, I suggest you go to either our website, which you see here, or drop me an email. And then that'll take you through the whole booking process. Then we'll contact you and we can talk about which exact um, courses and modules uh, you'd like to take. I mean, as Tony said, I mean, the price, it does include all the training courses he mentioned there, plus all the material and all the support we've spoken about before. So I think in terms of, of value, you're getting a lot of training for your money there. So so I'd suggest you, you try and register as soon as you can. Um, if you've got a number of people within your organisation that wish to take the certificate or diploma program, speak to us and we can talk about maybe setting up a, a cohort just for for people within your organization if that's the kind of way you'd like to go but um if there's any questions on on this side of it then please let me know now a question I always email in after the uh, after the event and we'll get back to you yeah please do yeah fab Okay, so I think uh, I think we're probably there then. So that was uh, I think we uh, scheduled it for now. Uh, apologies for the uh, for the uh, bit of a interrupted start. Um, we we were actually on the link and uh, nobody else had joined, so clearly there was a bad link there. I think. So yeah, so any other question, do email in. And we'll uh, we'll try and give you all the information we can. Um, and then you know, if some of you do decide that you want to go on and. Uh, undertake the course is fantastic and you know we are as flexible as we can be the aim is to make sure that you guys get the uh, the knowledge the skills and build the confidence that you need really to um to either you know um uh sort of progress rapidly with your career if that's what you want to do build knowledge to help you with specific projects or um or to enter the industry in the first place great so Looking forward to uh, seeing some of you on the uh, on the program, hopefully um, at the end of the month. Thanks for your time, and uh, we'll talk soon. Yep. Thanks all.